Okay, we're back live on KBLP with American Horror Story, Unreal Story, and this is Denise Harris, and with me is... Lori Wood. You know it. Okay, and we're on from season three. We're going to talk uh, Coven. Coven is my one of my absolute favorites. I love the premise of the voodoo, and um, it's about... I, I include witchcraft, of course, voodoo slavery, the mother and daughter, it's crazy, crazy, and they introduce, of course, Kathy Bates and Angela Bassett, two of my absolute favorites, they were amazing in this, in this series. Miss Kathy Bates, come on, that woman is absolutely amazing, I don't care what you throw at that woman, you cut off her head, and she was great, I loved her in this. Oh God! What about Emma Roberts? Oh, she cracked me up. She was great. Thing. Yeah, yeah. But Angela Bassett, wow. Oh, yeah, Angela Bassett. You know, this was her start in American Horror. Oh Story. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was. She, she, she was, I loved her and Angela Bassett fighting. It was just good, good rapport between them. I loved it. Yes. And then you had Jessica Lang. Oh, yeah. Bassett, and you had that chemistry going on there. I think you had some real powerhouses here. <laughs> Excuse me. Absolutely. And I wondered sometimes how the set dynamics were. You never heard that you had a diva on the set. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No. I think they all respected one another. I have never seen anything, and I looked into you know some of the background stuff. That any there was any fighting offset or anything like that that I saw or heard of. So no, I I didn't either. So and the the, the thing about Coven, it is kind of based on a true story. Um, yes. Kathy Bates's character, Madame Lalaurie, you know, yes. she did torture her slaves and mutated their bodies, and um, they wore spiked iron collars. And to this day, Louisiana, Louisiana natives still talk about her and how she allegedly gouged out her slaves' eyes and burned holes in their skin, screwed their lips shut, and all kinds of fun stuff. So, and she allegedly, um, after the fire, she moved to Paris, where she, where she, that's where she passed. The actual Madame Lalaurie. So. I- Tell you what, it was some scary stuff that they even showed. Oh, I, creepy, creepy. It was, it was very scary. And, you know, you, I can't even explain how when you see some of the stuff on there, it's like, When you get into the voodoo side of it, yeah, you you have the Wiccan side of it, which is white magic, right? But voodoo has always been considered black magic 
for the black side of because they can do a whole lot of damage real quick. And it's hard to combat that. So it was pretty scary this whole season. I like it because it was based on, you know, these two. Right. Uh, actually, Madame Laveau, who was Angela Bassett, uh, supposedly lived close to her in um, New Orleans, and she was known as the Voodoo Queen. You, you've been calling on her forever. So, there's a... Uh, but there's no... Uh, background on the two women actually being friends or anything so I don't you know I don't know so I think those two kind of bounce the stuff off of each other in the series right right, right. so there are the two of them and then when you add when you add Jessica Lang oh my gosh you know, yeah there's your trifecta right there you got that right wow so you have your there's your there's your strength right there in your trifecta and somebody has to come out the winner it's your strength yep absolutely and you hope that the right that the white magic the white will come out on top that's all. That's what all of us hope for. Yeah, that yeah. That will always triumph over evil. Yep. But what Cordelia has to go through in this whole movie? Yeah. Being oppressed by her mother. This whole darn thing, and then we find out at the end who she really is and what she what the girl's really made of, you know? She was, I think, one of my favorite characters in this whole thing because you saw her evolve through this whole oh, thing. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. She grew and she did. It was amazing, just amazing. The whole season was amazing. Oh, I love Coven. That was one. It's my favorite. Uh, one of my favorites. Uh, definitely. I just like the whole premise of the, you know, the magic and voodoo and this and that and the, the two of them. It was great. And I have to say that one of my favorite parts of the season, we will politely agree to disagree on this. Was the appearance of the White Queen? Better oh, known oh, as Stevie Nicks. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, and I'm going. I'm not shy about it. I do not like Stevie Nicks. I never have. So that said, um, what what the role she played, she played it well. I, you know, I'm not good taking anything away from her because that's a personal thing. I don't like her singing. I don't like her, but her role, she played well. So. She really did. Yeah. She really did. I mean, I liked her character as far as that goes. So I'm not yeah. dissing her on that at all. The white queen, that lady right there, she is. So uh, it was the whole season. I really think that... It just was amazing and you thought how could it only get better you had murder house then you had asylum then you had coven oh that's what i'm saying each season it was excellent in its own right because the material is you know changed so you can't really compare the seasons because you have to actually go by the subject matter they're you know doing i think but that you know because every one of them is excellent in their own right. Uh, the subject matter they use, this one was, uh, of course, magic and voodoo and um, right. slavery and all that. And it was excellent. Right. You know, it really was. It really yeah. was. Yeah. The report, I loved Angela Bass and Kathy Bates. They, they cracked me up in this. It was great. They do. Because 
Kathy Bates especially, because she doesn't know what the heck is going on. She wants just wants to get back to her time. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, she liked to torture people. That was her thing. She liked it. Yeah. And then when she's made to be live to be immortal at the end, right? And live every everything that she did for the rest of her life. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty intense, right yeah. there. Yeah, it was. It was. It was great. Angela Bassett, she just comes off her air about her. You know, it's like, uh uh-uh, uh, don't mess with me, girl. <laughs> I would be pretty scared of her, too. Yeah, she's, uh, but, she, <laughs> she was, uh, quite a figure in that show. I loved it. They were absolutely amazing in that. Yes, yes, they were. I think I'd have to say, though, that Miss Kathy Bates had to be my favorite in. Well, I'd have to say between her and, again, Sarah Paulson. Oh, absolutely. Sarah Paulson was amazing. Again, she she outdid her role in Asylum, which... Oh, absolutely, that absolutely. That would have been hard to do. Well, yeah, I think she was... Uh, she got an award for that, too. Asylum got quite a few awards that year, so... And I think that's probably why she kept coming back. I mean, she's an intricate part of that show. Yes, she is. Period. And I don't want to lose her, and I hope we don't. No, I don't think so. Not that I know of. I had heard that we were going to lose her because there was a, she was offered another show, and then that turned out to be the O.J. Simpson but she was, I guess, able to do that right. during her off time. Yeah, yeah. So that was, she was amazing in that, by the way. Oh, God. Absolutely loved. She was awesome in that. She held her own with, like, John Travolta. Oh, and yeah. Here and all these, you know, high-caliber actors. And they all made comments about her that, you know, she was amazing holding her own with all these all these male actors. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. She's uh, she's definitely uh, a star. Yes, she is. Okay. So now, we will move on to one of your favorite seasons. Yes, Freak Show. And you can roll with this one. Okay. Um... I absolutely love this twisty. You had um, the, I mean, twisty. He was he was in the running with Pennywise there for a while. Look, <laughs> he was so scary. He was crazy, crazy scary. Yes. Um, he was a kidnapper and serial killer, obviously. And of course, we had Edward Mordrake, who, of course in real life was a real person. So that was, you know, another, they always link this to something, you know, that's real. Um, He was scary. He was, (laughs) he was creepy. Yes. He just, you know, and the, and the fake, face on the back of his head it was you know, oh my god that was, was so insane, cool but it was so scary though it was it was great it was it was just it was scary it was you know i thought wow Chris, <laughs> I'm the freak show. yeah we're talking about your podcast yeah it's, yeah it's, yeah the freaks <laughs> yeah definitely freak show for sure uh, <laughs> uh, and the, the great Michael Chiklis was in that Oh, scene. he was, I wanted to beat him. He was know, such a jerk. Can you think of another actor that could pull something like this off? No, he was, no. He was, he was great in this. I was, I was glad to see him in this. I really was. He, he was really good. Um, and of course, Evan Peters, awesome with the the lobster hand and stuff. It was it was great. And of course, we got our first glimpse of Matt Bowman.